Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So within the next 24 to 48 hours, we should be finding out exactly who the summonable LRs for part two of the sixth anniversary will be. And before that happens, I wanna use this video to give you guys my personal opinions, my personal picks for who I think make the most sense based on you know past trends, based on the previous part two LRs, and all that stuff. Okay, so with all that said, let's just jump right into it. And the first thing we're gonna do is look at the fifth anniversary banner and also the fourth anniversary banner. Now, one thing you might notice is that there are two new LRs for both of the last two anniversaries, right? For the fourth anniversary, we had the AGL LR Baby and the Int GT Trio. And then for the fifth anniversary, we had the Int LR Rose and the Fizz LR Broly trio so obviously this year i also expect two new lrs for a top legendary summon banner and another pattern that is pretty clear is that there's always one standalone character like the rose or the baby and then an iconic trio unit like the broly chi lion lemo and the goku pan and trunks so based on the information we have so far this year we're going to be getting two new lrs both most likely you know, Universe Survival Saga themed, and there's gonna be one standalone and one trio. Now, of course, this isn't guaranteed, and Bandai slash Akatsuki are by no means obligated to follow the same trend as previous anniversaries. But if there's one thing that I've noticed about this game over the years, is that they do like to repeat patterns, repeat like certain kind of releases. So I'm gonna assume that there's a very good chance we are going to be getting a Trio LR and a standalone LR for part 2 of the anniversary, alright? So from there, let's talk about some potential candidates, let's talk about some potential characters. Oh, one last thing that I forgot to mention is that if you look at the banners, um, both of the standalone units, the standalone LRs, are villains, right? Now, when you think about the Universe Survival Saga, you think about the Tournament of Power, there wasn't really like a true villain. There were only antagonists, right? Like Jiren, Topo, Ribrian. Well, basically anybody who isn't from Universe 7, right? And in my mind, you can't really call those guys villains because they were all trying to save their own universe from being erased, right? They all had the same goal in mind and they were kind of forced to fight each other because of that. So. I wouldn't call them villains, I would just call them antagonists, but to follow the trend from the past couple of years, I do think the standalone LR is going to be an antagonist, and I feel like the most likely candidate is Hit. And the reason I say that might be a little bit selfish, because I do really like Hit as a character, I think he's a freaking badass, and I just feel like he's been disrespected by this game over the past couple of years, you know, like we only have two summonable hit. Actually no, we have a couple of summonable hit units, but only one Dokkan Fest hit, and he's just not that good. I mean, most of the hits in this game actually are not that good. Um, I would say the STR support one is solid for a support unit, but he's exclusive to the STR banner and he's also pretty old, and the one Dokkan Fest one we have is just a huge disappointment, the tech one, right? Like, he's just not great. I mean, he's usable in some events, but when it comes to the harder events in this game, like the Legendary Goku event, Infinite Dragon Ball History, um, Super Battle Road, stuff like that, he's just not the most usable. And for a character that's supposed to be as powerful as he is, that's as dope as he is, he just deserves better, you know? And since for the past few years, with the anniversaries, we've been getting these standalone villains or standalone antagonists. I think Hit, an LR Hit, would be the perfect fit here, you know? So that's my opinion, that's my personal pick for the standalone LR. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about that. Now, of course, there are some other options. I've heard a lot of people say Android 17, MVP 17 should be the, you know, solo units. And I think that's a good choice as well. I think that's pretty likely, but that would break the trend of villain slash antagonist, right? So um, for that reason, I'm not super high on that pick, although I would love an LR Android 17, don't get me wrong. And one point that has been brought up to me for why, you know, Android 17 is likely 
is that he's the only Universe 7 unit or character from the uh, TLP arc that hasn't been represented as a unit in the anniversary so far. Basically, every other character that was in the TLP from Universe 7 has been in a unit at this point, right? But Android 17 has not, so he's got to be represented somehow, and obviously an LR on the TOP banner would be amazing. So I do think there's a decent chance. I don't think it's very high. I think Hit is still more likely based on my deduction, but uh, you know he has a good chance too, right? And a third pick that I want to throw in there. I don't think he's super likely, but just in case it happens, I want to make sure I mention him. A new LR. God of Destruction Topo. I mean, he was a significant antagonist from the T.O.P. arc, right? So I think he's definitely got a chance. I definitely think he should be in the running, but in terms of like most likely to least likely, I would go LR Hit and then Android 17 and finally God of Destruction Topo. So those are my three picks for the solo LR for part two. Uh, once again, let me know your opinions in the comments. Do you guys think those are good picks? Do you think they're bad picks? Do you have any other better suggestions? Whatever it may be, let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so now moving on to the trio, and there are actually a few more options for this one in my mind. Um, a few that have been brought up, I think, that are pretty likely would be Jiren, uh, Topo, and Dispo as a trio. The other one that's pretty iconic is Bergamo and his boys, you know, the uh, wolf gang, the wolf boys. And uh, the third one would be Ribrienne and her girls. Now I know this one is not gonna be favored by a lot of people. It's definitely the last choice for me as well. I mean, as much as I think Ribrienne is a fine character, man, she does not need a summonable LR. Okay, that's just me. That's just me. I mean, it's nothing against like female characters or anything like that. I think there are a lot of great female characters, but Rebrienne is just uh, not one that really, you know, made me go, man, I really hope they make a summonable LR of this character when I saw her in the show. You know, like I just never felt that way. I really don't want it to happen. If they wanted to do like a free to play LR of, uh, you know, Rosie, Kakunza, and Rebrienne, that'd be fine. That'd be cool. But Let's not ruin part two of the anniversary with that, you know? So that's the third choice. Once again, really hope it doesn't happen. And the fourth one I was thinking of could be one that includes our boy Kava, right? Cause I really thought he was gonna be the extra character on the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta banner. And instead we got another Gohan unit. It was, you know, Golden Frieza and Gohan, but Gohan was still there. It's kind of weird to me still. So I'm thinking we could get a Kale, Khalifla, and Kaba card, the Universe 6 Saiyans. I think that would be awesome. And what's even better is that not only are they going to be on Universe 6, um, you know, join forces, Universe Survival Saga, but you can also run them on Super Saiyans and um, Pure Saiyans as well. Because like last year with the Broly Trio, even though it's an awesome unit, the characters made it kind of weird where like they were only on two categories, right? So with these three Saiyans, they'll still fit on a bunch of different categories and a bunch of different teams because the characters are, you know, similar in a lot of ways, right? So I think that'd be great. I would love to see that. I just think my boy Kaba also deserves a lot more respect than this game's been giving him. And uh, those are probably my four top picks. But I think the one that's most likely, the one that's going to get most people to summon would be the one including Jiren, right? So my top pick would be Jiren, um, Topo, and Dispo as the trio. And then for the solo unit, it would be, you know, LR Hit. And to me, that would be an amazing top legendary summon banner for part two. But of course, everybody has different opinions. Everybody likes different characters. So maybe for some of you guys, that would be awful. And that's totally fine. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say in this video, guys. I just wanted to get my predictions out there before the info drops. It could be within a day. It could even be a couple hours after this video comes out that we get like the official Twitter reveal or a data download that gives it away. And if that happens, then it's totally fine because the point is that my predictions are out there in the open now. And if I end up being right on the money, you know, if I get it perfect, it is a hit, it is a Topo, Jiren, and Dispo, 
then you guys can call me a Bandai spy. I mean, some people still do because of my fifth anniversary luck. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens, guys. Those are my predictions. That's what I'm thinking. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys are thinking for the two LRs. And we'll find out who was right and who was wrong very soon. But uh, regardless, look forward to part two of the anniversary starting within the next couple of days. I'm excited for it. Hope you guys are excited as well. And uh, thank you for watching today's video. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.